Hello, I'm with you by a new video about carcinoembryonic antigen or CEA. Uh, CEA is a glycoprotein that uh, normally occurs in fetal gut tissue. By birth, uh, detectable serum levels disappear. In the early 1960s, uh, CEA was found to exist in the bloodstream of adults who had colorectal tumors. It was originally thought to be a specific indicator uh, of the presence of colorectal cancer. Subsequently, however, this tumor marker has been found in patients who have a variety of carcinomas and even may benign disease. Chronic smokers also have elevated CEL levels. Furthermore, not all colorectal cancer produce CEA, therefore CEA is not a reliable screening test for the detection of colorectal cancer in a general population. Its use is limited to determining the pro prognosis and monitoring the response of tumor to anti neoplastic therapy in a patient with cancer. A drastic reduction of the propagative CEA to normal levels indicates a complete eradication of the tumor. Therefore, this test is used to determine the efficacy of treatment. A steadily rising CEA level is occasionally the first sign of tumor recurrence. This makes the CEA testing very valuable in the following follow-up of patients who have already had potentially uh, curated therapy. CEA can also be detected in body fluids other than blood. Its uh, presence in those body fluids indicates metast metastasis. Uh, this test may be performed for the following purpose. Uh, cancer prognosis estimate. When carcinoembryonic antigen is used to help estimate the prognosis of cancer, physicians consider the results of carcinoembryonic antigen tests along with imaging tests or other examinations. For some types of cancer, high levels of carcinoembryonic antigen are associated with a worse prognosis. Monitoring cancer treatment. Increasing or decreasing the level of carcinoembryonic antigen during treatment for certain types of cancer may reflect the effectiveness of treatment. For example, in, in uh, the case of colon and rectal cancer, the level of, the level of carcinoembryonic antigen is generally taken as a baseline measurement after diagnosis so that it can be compared with future levels, levels of carcinoembryonic antigen taken during treatment. After removal of the colorectal tumor, the serum concentration of carcinoembryonic antigen should return to normal within six weeks, unless there is residual tumor. Diagnosis of uh, cancer recurrence. Doctors often monitor carcinoembryonic antigen level after treatment for some cancer as a way of determining if the cancer has returned. Consecutive increases in carcinoembryonic antigen levels are the first sign of tum tumor recurrence, and this test makes carcinoembryonic antigen very valuable in the follow-up follow of uh, three, uh, treated patients. For example, patients uh, with early stage colon and rectal cancer tests for carcinoembryonic antigen every six to three to six months for several years after receiving uh, initial treatment. Carcinoembryonic antigen may be elevated in the following types of cancer: colon and rectal cancer, other gastrointestinal cancers breast cancer, lung cancer, medullary thyroid cancer, pancreatic cancer, uh, genio-urinary cancers, ovarian cancer. Non-cancerous conditions that can increase, level, increase the level of carcinoembryonic antigen include 
uh, stomach ulcer, pancreatitis, uh, smoking, lung infection, inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis, uh, liver scarring, scarring, gallbladder inflammation, inflammatory conditions, hypothyroidism, and uh, cirrhosis. The normal value of this test depends on the, on the diagnosis method, so each laboratory in the normal range mentions these values based on the method and its unit of measurement in its laboratory. But in general, the following values can be considered. Non-smokers less or equal 3 nanogram per milliliter and uh, smokers are uh, usually less than 5 nanogram per milliliter. Because uh, results may vary considerably depending on the method used for quantification, uh, results uh, from different laboratory cannot be compared or interchangeably interpreted. The concentration of carcinoembryonic antigen in serum should not be used to screen uh, asymptomatic individual for non uh, neoplastic disease and the diagnostic efficacy of CA measurements in high risk groups has not been established. CEA tests alone are already used to determine the stage of cancer or the effectiveness, effectiveness of treatment. For this reason, it is important for patients to, uh, to discuss the meaning, the meaning of their CEA test with their doctor who can explain their significance with other factors in the context of their unique your case. Thank you for your watching. Please uh, subscribe me for more videos. Uh, have a good time. Bye.